Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, our ongoing mission to seek new life, to explore strange new worlds, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Sexist. Uh, where no human has gone before. No, no, no. no. Racist. Um, let's see. Where no carbon-based... No, no, no. Silicon... No. Um, particulate entity with any sentient characteristics whatsoever has gone before. Ah! Roll titles. Captain Starlog, number 131, page 23. Young Weasley crush me when tampering with the interior decorating computer has converted the ship into a late 20th century fully furnished apartment. As a result, I'm requiring him to take out the garbage on level 5 until he restores the ship to normalcy. Captain, the away team signals they're ready to beam up. And there's been trouble. Beam them up on the double. Have them transported directly to the bridge. Bridge? The living room, okay? Over by the um, Chesterfield will be fine. Captain, there are aliens down on the planet. I managed to kill only 15 of them before ascertaining they were non hostile. Good work, Yaha. Rigger, your report on planet Woodstock. Uh. Hey! I like that haircut, Captain Picky. Number one, you will address me as sir. Sorry, sir. I was merely complimenting you on your fine follicle formation. <laughs> Number one, get up. Snap to and stand at attention. <laughs> I like that uniform, too. <laughs> I could kill him, sir. That won't be necessary. Lieutenant Wolf, restrain him. Red alert, Captain. Message from Starfleet. All the Pepsi is missing from Starbase 7-Up, and the Ferrari are involved. The Ferrari. Metro Suite 5, Captain. Let's see it. Switch all main viewer. Huh? You know, the TV thing. Affirmative. The Ferrari are holding all the Pepsi down there. How can you be sure? Just a hunch, sir. Opinions, everyone. Let's kill him. I think we should do lots and lots of drugs, sir. Captain, I feel boredom, intense boredom from them. Among the Ferrari? No, the audience. I think we should beam down and investigate. May I remind the captain that he has important obligations aboard the ship which preclude his beaming down. That's right. I'm meeting with Dr. Crushme to demonstrate, uh, discuss sex education for the school-age children on board. <laughs> but that's not important. Besides, Commander Rigger is in no shape to lead the away team. Hey, man! I'm in total control! Ready to beam down, then. Bring Weasley along. Maybe we can lose him in a snake pit or something. Captain, I advise you to reconsider. 
I feel something terrible is going to happen. <sighs> hey, it's Persis Kumbada. <laughs> okay, how about next week, Captain Picard lands on a planet full of Nazis? No, 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 no. I've got it. A beautiful woman steals Duda's brain. <laughs> I want my agent! God damn it! Who put me on this show? This is the worst piece of bug fucking crap I've ever worked on! That's right! That's right! Tell them what I want! Okay? I quit! Okay? Okay, how about we get all these little fuzzballs? And we can drop them on the captain's head! Yeah! He needs it too big! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, I get to beam down the planet. Thanks a lot, Jean Luke, or Captain. Can we bring the robot with us? No, Commander Rigger won't be joining us this time. You can bring Duda instead. Prepare to beam down. Ensign Expendable, report to the bridge. Hey, wait a minute. You're not going to leave me with Woof, are you? He tried to hump my leg last time. Energize. Weasley. Sorry, Captain. I thought it might be fun to disassemble the transporter for the shipboard science fair. Captain's log supplemental. Due to transporter difficulties, we've decided to jump to the planet's surface. Enterprise, down and safe. Boy, do our ankles hurt. Ensign, I want you to... Captain, look! And it's expendable! Damn. That's the first crew member I've lost. At least he used his head. There are 25 minutes left in this episode, so we better split up. Jordar, Shahad, and I will go that way. Duda, you take Weasley and look for plot complication number two. Mr. Duda, what race built you? Camp Town! Warning, warning, danger, Will Robinson! It's the Ferrari! After the Cola Wars ended and we were left with the aftertaste of the new generation, Pepsi became the official drink of Star Fleet in the 2388 Winter Olympics. Now the Ferrari are attempting to revive an ancient rival to Pepsi in what must be a satanic ritual that is so evil, so disgusting, that common decency prevents me from describing it in this plot exposition. Look, sir. The Enterprise, the Enterprise. Look, and they're two more male humans. And they're wearing clothes, too. Hey, guys, what about me? I demand in the name of Starfleet and clear viewer participation to know who I'm dealing with. I'm Ravioli. I'm Linguini. I'm Calvini. I'm Spaghetti. I'm Calzone. I'm Fettini. And we're the Ferraris! They just don't make bad guys like they used to. We demand the return of all Pepsi products, except the Cherry 7-Up, immediately. Get stuffed, Picard! We know your Prime Directive prevents you from interfering. Damn! Who told you that? He did! Duda! How could you? It seemed like an important plot complication, sir. Enough, Picard! Separate them. Two over there, and the black one over there. Wait a minute, who's black? Black? I I, I don't see any black people. Uh, he's black. I'm black? Wait a minute. Nobody ever told me that. Tell me the truth. Am I black? Just a minute, Ravioli. I, I demand to see your boss. 
surprises! <laughs> Very well then! The bomb! My god, Captain! These people worship a large empty screen! No! Look! Yes! That's how I know! Wow, it's David Letterman! Bury those dwarves! Okay, Ravioli. You got us. Sure, 300 years ago, our ancestors may have exercised their God-given right to maim and kill whoever stood in their way. I have one thing to say in our defense. We got better. Please, Captain, let me kill just one. Down, Yaha, down. The Prime Directive is our most important law. If we were to break it, we would be no better than them. So we'll leave now and find other ways to explore strange new worlds without the cold, refreshing taste of Pepsi. Oh, to hell with the Prime Directive! <laughs> What will Starfleet say? Not to worry, Yaha. We've got Jordash as an eyewitness. <laughs> Good work, Captain. Thank you. Weasley, have you ever watched any gladiator movies? Not that I know of. Warp factor one. Not that swear. 